they were out right away. Oh! We got another special guest. That sounds like Pete Shapiro. <laughs> well, oh, and you are clearly right by the Golden Gate Bridge. Don't jump, Pete. Don't jump. I'm jumping. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you. That, How are you, Popper? That's really me talking. My lips are barely moving, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, yeah. practicing my ventriloquism. <laughs> I love your perm. <laughs> I like how the light shimmers through your hair. <laughs> are we on? Or or we are. So, Peter, Peter, what is it that Bobby and I told you at that meeting? Yeah, yeah. Can you talk about that? Oh, the meeting when the first night uh, when you did the High Plains Drifter show. Yeah. I yeah, okay. Trip. That was like the first one of the early nights I owned it in Popper. It was like the first time you came back when I owned it. Like, this is a true story. You the, the at set break. That's my daughter Roxy. She, uh, you said no. Bobby came to the door, the back door, wetlands, and said, "No one can come in. No Fry, no Gina." And he pointed out. And he goes, "Yo, new guy, <laughs> you <laughs> come here." He brought me uh, back into the room, and it was I sat with uh, Bobby and, and you, John, for uh, like 45 minutes. You didn't let anyone in the room, and you brought me into your family. It was a great, uh, great moment. Well, thank you, Peter. I'm glad, I'm glad you were a good family member to bring in. Look at the bridge. Look at you. You look great. How are you doing, brother, other than the world falling apart? Oh, I mean, it's fantastic. I was just saying, this is like the best pandemic I've ever been to. <laughs> There's like no zombies, you know, no cannibalism that I've seen. People got to stop eating porcupines and shit and this shit will stop. Well, that's why you're prepped. Are you still, you know, you're prepped on the farm. Oh, yeah, I got, I got some provisions. Exactly. You know, what's odd is that I accidentally bought a whole shit ton of toilet paper anyway, because I'm always gone, so I just stock up on a lot of toilet paper anyway. And, you know, so I'm living off that reserve of toilet paper. I already have a, uh, you know, an underground silo. Where are you? Where are you? Outside of Seattle in Snohomish, Washington. Like five miles from the from the epicenter of the the pandemic. <laughs> I mean, your video is frozen. Is it frozen for everyone else? Yeah, they're using no, they're a using shot. a frozen picture. Yeah, that's my that's my um, headshot. It's a still. Where can, can we get some video of Popper? No, no, we... you can't. It's terrible. Why? Because my house has uh, got no Wi-Fi. Come on, you got provisions. You got your John Popper. You made yeah, so well. you want to get off the grid, you man. You well. want to be off. You got to be off the grid, man. You don't want to track at you. So that's. <laughs> can we I give it know. your address so we can come visit you and people listen? To <laughs> yes, you can always come visit me. I'm. I need a drive. I'm thinking a drive. I got to get in the car and just take a long drive. Well, you know, I'm actually going to uh, in two weeks. I'm going, that's when uh, I'm finally going to drive myself to San Francisco and see Wheezy. I'm going to do it very uh, socially distantly. I'm going to like put on a, a giant body condom and drive down to San Francisco. So when you drive and you're like driving down the highway and only people look over and like freak out when they see Popper. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes they just figure, uh oh, that, that pilgrim's going to run me off the road. Ah. <laughs> uh. I miss wetlands. It was a better, was a different time, better time. Yeah, man. But like, think of all the stuff you've done since. Think of all the stuff. Like, wetland is part of this giant arc. And really, what it is is, it's the people that made something great. You know. Thank you, brother. And you started it, man. That's why I wanted to hop on. Uh, just oh. tell you. you did. You started it. I was so thankful to get to take it, the ball from you. It was a good handoff. He gave me the ball. I took it. Yeah, I, I just I was so, standing there and he just grabbed my balls, everybody. It was the weirdest <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's 2020. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I love you, Peter. And you know what? Everybody started it. 
you know sure. it didn't it wasn't on a line it was everybody showed up and made it something really spectacular because if you think yeah, about we, how amazing it was like think of all the people who made it amazing it was a group well yeah it was uh did you ever go because i mean you played there obviously a lot of times did you ever go to the tuesday night grateful dead night um yeah down in the basement wait a second yeah sometimes Wait, you, did you ever see? Because that was real communal. Did you ever see Vern? Maybe someone watching is a Vern. He's yeah. a rainbow warrior and uh, focus, focus. I and, remember that. Uh, I remember that. I wish I could go back for a drum circle. I had a lot of sex there. A lot of what? I had a lot of sex at the wetlands. What? Uh oh. Um, no, the lounge. The lounge was nice at the beginning. People the lounge, forget that. I had it in the lounge, especially yeah. early on in the lounge, right, at where the pillows were, and then yeah. the bathroom, and then the back area that was sort of the dressing room. Uh, yeah, a few areas in there, uh, sort of that kitcheny area. There was a that lot was of areas that I had a lot of sex in that place. Um, my daughter's here making a smoothie. I mean, I had a lot of natural. I, I, I just see the Golden Gate Bridge behind you. I know it's, but really, my daughter's over there making. A okay, sleep. I was uh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot that everyone's all bunkered in. I had a lot of sex education there. <laughs> a lot of educational. She education. just walked away. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, education Listen, was that you. better. My daughter just walked to the other room. I got to explain what you meant now. <laughs> All right. So how about on that? We'll, we'll, uh, Wait, we'll just do the jury again. Okay, let me get an idea. Love you. Popper, you started with you. We all owe you because um, I took the ball, but you you created the ball and you really did start it. And um, I'm so thankful for that for you. I love you, Peter. Thank you. Love you guys. Peace.